Students study history for one hour a week in Year 7. Our aim is to take you on an exciting journey through time to understand how the world we live in and the rights and values we hold dear have been shaped by the past. In Year 7, our students will gain an overview of history, first by looking at how sanitation has changed. Access to clean water and sanitation is one of the United Nations' global goals for sustainable development, and we'll be exploring how successful British people have been in accessing clean water and removing waste. We'll then embark on a thrilling journey to investigate why William won the Battle of Hastings, and how this bloodiest of battles changed the lives of the English forever. Our students will then go on to investigate the changing balance of power of the Middle Ages. They'll find out why nobody could ignore the church, not even kings. They'll investigate the ruthless murder of Thomas Becket and how the beginnings of democracy were established when King John was made to sign the Magna Carta. Year 7s will conclude their investigation into the Middle Ages by finding out about why the peasants were revolting in the 14th century, by learning how the Black Death ravaged the country and how the actions of the king and his advisers caused violent unrest across the nation. Here in Bridgewater, Sydenham House and St John's Hospital were attacked and local tax collectors were murdered. The heads of two rioters were put on spikes above the town bridge. But were these rioters violent villains or heroic martyrs dying in the name of freedom and equality? In the second half of Year 7, we move on to investigate the Tudors. We'll analyse different perspectives of Henry VIII and find out about the causes, events and consequences of the break with Rome to try to understand why the 80-year-old Richard Whiting, the last abbot of Glastonbury, was so cruelly hanged, drawn and quartered on top of Glastonbury Tor. Year 7s will find out about what it was like to live in Tudor England and how the religious changes of the time shaped our history. They'll go on to analyse the life and character of Elizabeth I and evaluate whether she really did deserve her nickname Good Queen Bess. Year 7s will then need to put themselves in her shoes to decide what they would have done about the problem that was Mary Queen of Scots. Throughout this study of history, students at Haygrove School develop key analytical and evaluative skills while building knowledge and understanding of how today's world has been shaped by the past. They learn to always question and interrogate the source of evidence, to work out if they really can trust it and if it's telling them the whole truth. What's more, they're always encouraged to be curious through inquiry-based learning and to use the past to identify their own moral values while understanding how the values which we all share are a product of our history. Right, well, what did you study in history in year seven? Medieval Britain and the Tudors plus Stuarts. We studied sanitisation, the Peasants' Revolt and Tudor England. Fantastic. And are you enjoying history yes. at Haygrove? Yes, definitely. Why are you enjoying it so far? It's only been a few weeks, but why? I found it really interesting because in primary we didn't do a lot and it was only maybe once a month, but now we're having it a couple times a week. It's very interesting to find out new things. I like going back in time, seeing what other people did when they didn't have the stuff we have. Now Amy, what has been your history highlight so far at Haygrove? Probably learning about Bloody Mary because in primary school we always used to do things as a joke in the bathrooms and now I've learned it's a real thing. It's just crazy to know that. And what about you Ethan? The Anglo-Saxon reenactment when we um, put on loads of those in helmets, cardboard cutouts and loads of other stuff and we just did a reenactment of Normandy versus England. Fantastic. And Amy, to you now, what is the strangest or funniest or the most interesting thing you have learnt so far in history? Probably the Black Death of how it spread so fast and all the different things involved in it. Interesting. And what about you, Ethan? the strangest or weirdest thing you've learned? Well, that Henry VI had, Henry VIII had six wives. Sorry, I didn't. Ah, so six wives. Fantastic. Thank you very much.